Hello everyone, my name is Cece Wood and I am the Communications and Community Engagement Associate at the Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy. Welcome back and thank you for tuning in to another one of our youth education videos. Today we are going to talk about salamanders. So what exactly is a salamander anyway? Well, a salamander is a type of amphibian, and amphibians are typically known for spending some portion of their lives in the water and some portion on land. Salamander eggs are unique because they don't have a hard shell. They have a jelly-like barrier around them. They typically hatch at water and have a larval stage where they breathe through gills. Some stay in this stage forever, and some don't have this stage at all. But all breathe all or partially through their skin. They also have a keen sense of smell, and they like to eat lots of invertebrates, but most will eat whatever they can fit in their mouth, including other salamanders. Being amphibians makes them unique from their lizard lookalikes in that instead of having scaly skin, they have slimy mucousy skin and soft padded feet without claws. Now that you know a little bit more about salamanders, if you want to go out and search for them yourself, there's a couple of things you should know. For example, the best time to search for them is during periods of rainier weather because they're able to migrate longer distances and at crepuscular times like dawn and dusk. And the best time of year is especially in early spring, but you can find them at pretty much any time if you look hard enough. If you do find a salamander, make sure your hands are wet and clear of any contaminants before handling them. You may even want to bring a clean, clear container so that you can look closely at your salamander without causing it undue stress. Finally, make sure you put anything you moved back where you found it, especially the salamanders, and do so quickly to prevent stress and illness. Now that you know the basics of how to find salamanders, it's time for you to get out there and look for yourself. So why should we care about these slimy, wriggling amphibians? Well, many are in decline, and there are more amphibian species endangered than birds or mammals. This is due to habitat destruction, pollution, disease, pet trade, climate change, and invasive species. Salamanders are extremely sensitive to environmental change. This makes them important to water quality because they are what we call bioindicators. Bioindicators are what we call living organisms that are utilized to screen the health of an ecosystem. Basically, if salamanders are suffering, we will likely be suffering too. Thankfully, there are many things we can do right here in our own backyards to protect salamanders. For example, SAHC's Community Farm Associate Tamaria Sims recently made salamander plots at our community farm. Not only do these plots provide habitats for salamanders, but they also allow us to make observations that will give us information about the overall health of our ecosystem. You can also help salamanders by uploading photos and observations of any salamanders you find to sites like HurtMapper or iNaturalist. And finally, you can share everything you learned today with your family and friends to make sure that everyone knows how to protect salamanders. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, feel free to leave some feedback in the comments and we'll see you next time.